Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Firestone patch. I'm on Magic Knight by this time, but not with a Gengo Bomb build, with a simple, pretty decent 1VX build. On the front bar, classic War Maiden for a ton of weapon spell damage to our magic damage abilities. Makun and Smithic, alternative you can go with these weapons Curl. Back bar, Rallying Cry, for extra crit resistance, weapon spell damage. 120 years filler, like always, and the Zan is monster set for more single target pressure. I'm kinda squishy with this build, not gonna lie, so if you prefer a little bit more tankiness, go with Mara's Balm for example in the back bar, and Bloodspawn as monster set instead of Zan. Armor types, 1 heavy, 1 medium, 5 light, no impen, instead I'm using 4 well fitted, 3 Sturdy, full Prismatic Griffs, Jewelry, 2 Spell Damage, full Infused, and 1 Stamina Region Glyph, definitely needed, since I use Vigor and Self Heal, Purse Armor, and even Power Extraction for Minor Courage. 2 Maces for extra pen on the front bar, Neon Sharpened, Flame Poison Chant, Back Bar, Sword and Board, Powered Sturdy, with the Escapist Poisons. Skills Camouflage Hunter for Minor Berserk, Major Prophecy, and 3% extra weapon and spell damage, thanks to Slayer. Then Power Extraction. I only use it once every 30 seconds for the spell power buff and for Minor Courage, extra 215 weapon and spell damage, and on top for Minor Cowardice, which reduces the weapon and spell damage from the target by 215 for 10 seconds. Spam will concede weapon, what else, for extra 10% damage increase and minor expedition. Mercer's resolve and refreshing path, mainly to proc the 10% extra damage bonus of concede weapon. The extra healing and the stamina magical regen, also pretty cool. Incap as aggressive ultimate, back by plus armor for minor major breach, race against time is now removable. Vigor self heal and minor resolve, 3k armor. Dark Cloak mainly for minor protection and also decent heal still even if our HP is a little bit too low for it. And shoot offering a spell steal, defense for ultimate spell wall. Race Khajiit for extra 12% crit damage, magical health stamina and region. A better option would be probably Breton or higher off of this build, but Khajiit works fine too. Mondo Stianto for magical region, Clockwork Hitters for less buff food. 44 points magicka, the rest in health. Potions, the tricep potions, or the detection potions against cloaky knife blades. CPs, master at arms, steady aim, exploiter and ironclad. With concede weapon, if you flank the enemy, you can set the enemy off balance for extra 10% damage, pretty nice. If you're too squishy, you can go with Deuce rebuff instead of exploiter for a little bit more damage reduction. Red CPs, Pains Refuge, Celebrity, The Simple Suffering, and Slippery. Quick talk about the combination. Pre-buff yourself with Race Against Time, Mercer's Resolve, and Refreshing Path. Try to stand in your path to proc the 10% extra damage bonus of Concealed Weapon. Apply Purse Armor with Power Extraction. Use Incap into Concealed Weapon Spam. Flank the enemy to set it off balance. Then use a medium or heavy attack as stun into Assassin's Will. That's it with the build, thanks for watching, have a nice day, enjoy the gameplay footage, and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Peace.
searching for the moments I'm a little less 25 A little less 25 A little less, a little less Searching for the moments I'm a little less 20 A little less 25 Smile